Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Rachel, I'm a second semester nursing student and I record my journey. Today I'm gonna be taking you guys throughout my week again. This week is gonna be a little chaotic, it's just FYI. We have a lot going on this week and I thought it would be a great week to film. Today is Monday, we're starting off fresh and strong. We got this, it's gonna be a great week, you know? It's gonna be a great week. Today we have two classes. Tomorrow we don't have classes. But I plan to get in six hours of studying tomorrow. <clears throat> Mark my words, okay? Wednesday we have lab. We have fully catheter checkoffs on Wednesday. Thursday we have two classes again. And then we also have our first exam of the semester, which is uh, mental health. This will also be like the last week of lab because next week we start clinicals. Ooh, it's about to get crazy. It's about to get crazy because I have two clinical systems. I have to be there two days a week. Yeah. And then this week, I'm going to try to squeeze in a shift on Friday since I don't have classes on Friday. So we'll see. I'm going to like focus on studying this week so I can like try to do well on mental health. I don't know what to expect. I've never taken a mental health exam before. So far, the material seems to be like okay like you know like i get that like therapeutic communication you know communication techniques i get that but like how's the exam gonna look like don't know kitty let me show you guys what i got i got a kitty i got a kitten his name is simba i got him when he was like two to three weeks old he was really small he eats a lot and he's getting big every day Say hi. That's my little friend right now. I'm gonna finish eating here and I will catch with you guys when I'm probably on campus or something. Something. I'm at Target. Don't ask me why, but I have a really good, I have a valid reason to be here, okay? Class ended early, and I was like, I'm gonna stop by Target to just pick up. I'm looking for like a folder. I'm looking for a folder to kind of like organize my clinical stuff since we start clinicals next week. I might pick up some things that I also don't need, but we'll see. Tuesday. I'm currently getting ready for the gym. The time is 7.47. I need to get my hair done soon because these braids are so old. Hopefully this weekend. I have my study session today at 10. From 10 to 1. I'm going to try to stay there until 1. After that, come back home, eat lunch. I told you guys I'm gonna try to study six hours today and that's still the goal, that hasn't changed. I'm gonna study from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. and then after that, I'm gonna come back home and eat lunch. And then I also have to like stop by at the hospital cause I'm getting a second job. <laughs> There's been like a lot of red flags with this job that I just accepted. But then it's like, it's in the unit that I want to work when I finish school. Like, do I go for it or do I just stay where I'm at? Because where I'm at right now is med surge. And it's not bad. Like, I like it. 
but I just don't see myself there long term, you know? When I'm done with school, I'm not gonna be a med surgeon nurse. But I wanna like work in a unit that I'm kind of like interested in. And then eventually when I'm done with school, I can just like transition into the nurse role. And I think like it'll be easier for me since I would have already worked there as a tech. But yeah, that's kind of like my plan. I accepted a job in your trauma ICU. I've worked in your trauma ICU before, which is why I'm like, like I really want this. But the hospital I worked at though, in your trauma ICU, was in Kansas City. And I love that place. I love the unit. I love the people. I love the hospital. I had to move so unexpectedly. I wasn't expecting to move. My car got broken into while I was there because I hadn't moved there. I initially wanted to go to a nursing school over there. And so like, I moved there, I got a job of my dream, like everything was so good, I got an apartment there, my job was so nice, it was in a great location, like 8 minutes away from me, the manager great, everybody in the unit is so good, and I just loved being in your trauma ICU, but once everything happened, I had to move back home, and I just quickly had to find a job, so I'm working in med search right now. But I don't want to stay in med surge. I want to like go back to neurotrauma ICU. So I applied to a different hospital in this area, the neurotrauma ICU, and it's just been like red flags after red flags. My interview lasted seven minutes. It was on the phone, and the girl that was interviewing me just didn't seem like interested. She just she was so bored. Like it, it seemed like I was boring her. Like I was boring, and then like I would ask her questions. She was just like, eh yeah hmm yeah like you know in interviews they usually also ask you like uh like patient scenario questions she didn't even ask that. i was like i asked her like do you have any questions that you like me to answer she said no and then she was like do you have any questions i was like yeah because i you know i usually like write questions to ask in interviews anyway so i asked her my questions all that and then and then she was like well Okay, I'm gonna like let the recruiter know and then we'll see if we want to like move forward with you, blah, blah, blah. I was like, I, I know for sure I'm not getting that job. I am not getting it. Like I crossed it off my calendar as soon as I got off the phone because I was like, that was so bad. An hour later, I remember like I had gone to the store to pick up some stuff and I was on my way back home, driving back. And then I got a call from the, from the recruiter and she was like, hey, uh, like they would like to offer you the job in your trauma ICU. I was like, what? That is so unexpected. But yeah, it has taken a whole month for them to like clear me to start. I got clear to start September 1st, but then I hadn't heard anything back from the manager. Like if you have someone starting, you usually like try to reach out to them and like get all the paperwork done and stuff. She didn't even reach out to me, so I had to contact another person that was kind of like involved in my hiring process and they had to contact her and then she eventually reached out to me yesterday. And she was like, hey, would you like to come tour the place? I was like, yeah, I'll come in tomorrow. So that's where I'm at right now. It seems like they're very disorganized, chaotic. I don't know, we'll see. Anyways, I'm gonna see you guys when I get to the gym because I keep yapping. I'm back from the gym. It's currently 10.01 and I'm getting ready to leave the house. I just left Starbucks, it's 1.05. My professor sent out a study guide this morning 
it's not really like a complete study guide it's just like an email with what she wants us to focus on and what to expect on the exam so that's kind of like what I was doing today I was kind of just like going back into her email and seeing if her stuff matches my stuff and if I didn't have it on my study guide I would write it down and then I also watched some level up our end videos I took some notes on that and yeah I was just focusing on my exam that's coming up we have two days until the exam Later on today, I'm just gonna focus on like doing my whiteboard repetitions. I feel like I get the material. It's not really like heavy material. It's just like common sense. It's with like therapeutic communication, patients' rights, privacy and confidentiality, like, you know, stuff like that. And we're also doing like brain anatomy and the functions, the neurotransmitters involved in like psych, and then also like their meds. We're not going in depth into their meds. We're just like looking at the classes right now. I'm gonna go home, eat something, and then I have to stop by the hospital to get the tour or whatever that I was gonna that I was talking about earlier. But yeah, and then later on we'll study. Tomorrow we have lab. Oh, today I also need to prep for lab. We have lab tomorrow. We're having uh, Foley catheter checkoffs. So we'll be there from 8:30 a.m. to 4. First part of the lecture from like 8 30 to 12, we're just like learning, practicing, and then after we come back from lunch, then we check off. Hey guys, it's hours later. I am currently studying, it's 5 47. I'm like one hour and 10 minutes into the study session. I'm just watching Lexus Nursing. So this is what we have going on a little whiteboard. My study guide, all the information, my iPad going on with my music and my timer. My phone is set up there. I'm trying not to touch it. Then I have that. And then I'm also like watching, like uh, I'm watching her because she's doing practice questions. And I'm just like writing also like stuff down. Oh my god. Yep, there you go. You don't have to get the blood return. <laughs> I taste the saline. It's hours later. I just got done checking out for Foley catheters and my stomach is going crazy. I was so scared. My stomach was like, you know that nervous feeling you get in your stomach? Like I had that the whole time. I'm so glad I did the pre-lab work that I did last night. It wasn't required, but I knew we were gonna have fully check offs today. So yesterday I went to like YouTube and I YouTubed up uh, Sarah Register Nurse and I watched her video. That was very helpful. And then today this morning we just kind of like watched another ATI video in class with everybody. I couldn't record anything because it was like it was intense you know like and my class is not big it's not that big so like as soon as i pull like my phone out everybody's just like and we all like sit around like one table so i'm like i'm not even gonna record but and i was also kind of nervous about the check off i didn't really have the guy to pull up my phone and record but i passed and the instructor was like you did really good blah blah, blah. i'm like girl thank you i was just about to die like i was <sighs> Like what? I'm gonna leave and go home and study for my exam that I have tomorrow. You know, I have a mental health exam tomorrow at 1 p.m. So yeah, we'll go study. Good morning. So today is Thursday, exam day. We're studying clinicals next week. We're gonna have med surgery clinical and 
mental health clinical. I'm starting with med surge. I think my mental health rotation is all the way up in October. Med surge clinicals are gonna be on Tuesdays and Wednesdays from 6.45 a.m. to 4 p.m. And like later on when I switch to mental health, it's gonna be Tuesdays and Wednesdays still. But times are gonna be from 6.45 to 12, so I can't wait for that. Good thing I'm starting with the longer one first. That way, I can just get it out the way. Also, I did pick up a shift tomorrow. So I'm working 7A to 7P tomorrow. Thank you. I really don't know how I did. Hopefully, I didn't do too bad. We haven't gotten the scores yet. Hopefully she has it graded by tomorrow. I forced myself out of bed so I can study because I have another exam next week that I need to be preparing for. I have a paper that I need to write, a paper due on Monday. Today is Thursday, I work tomorrow. I'm just gonna try to get some stuff done. I'm so tired. Yo, after the exam, I walked out of that place so fast so nobody talks about the answers. When I walked out the room, there was a group of people like on the side, like outside of the room, just like talking about like, oh, what did you pick? Oh, what did you pick? I was like, I'm not gonna involve myself in that. Can it stop? Whatever I picked, it's done. I don't want anybody stressing me out about what I picked. It's been submitted. I'm going home. Like I walked out and went straight to my car. Don't talk to me about nothing. Don't ask me what I picked what I put down for which question. Girl, I don't even remember the questions. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to get some work done and I will see you guys next time.